This video is sponsored by Bityad, with over 400 cryptos to trade on their spot, perpetual coin futures, USDT futures, with leverage of 1x to up to 125x, you can trade foreign exchange, commodities like gold, silver and oil, and traditional markets like Nasdaq, all with some of the lowest fees available on any trading platform. You can use their copy trader to copy other traders with better performance than you, or you can become a copy trader yourself and earn a few extra percent from the people that follow you. Plus, it got 9 out of 10 stars from the Coin Bureau guy. Bityard. Hello everybody, welcome back. Let's have a look at Bitcoin. In fact, before we look at Bitcoin, I'm just going to show you something unfortunate that we have seen on the Dixie chat. So we can see ourselves breaking out here. This is the weekly. We were talking uh, last week, I think, about the, the cup in handle formation, uh, which uh, if it breaks this area here, we go for a breakout. 105, 105.6. Yeah, it's breaking out from there. So your cup, your handle, your breakout area. And we'll be looking to target 106.7 and then probably generational highs after that uh, 110 112 114 you know it's all very possible when we look back in time to see what significant levels these hold so we'll be we'll be, we'll be targeting big big moves for the dixie and at the moment it looks like that's happening it's still early days we might get rejections there's all sorts of things that can filter into the price of that but for the moment cup in handle formation has broken out and we are moving up it is only a four hourly so we take it level by level but 106.7 seems reasonable to me that's its next destination and so with that in mind you can't really expect an enormous amount of uh, upside with traditional markets or bitcoin it's just the nature of it I mean, we have been saying for a while, haven't we, since almost a year ago, getting on for a year now, uh, last September, that the Dixie was uh, going to break out. And it's going to be a bullish year for the Dixie, and lo and behold, it has been bullish. The other thing we've been looking at is trying to filter in uh, CPI data and what it's going to show this time around. So it's going to be a big couple of weeks. We've got the minutes, the FOMC minutes uh, 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 meeting and, and the, uh, the next rate hikes and the next CPI data all due within the next two weeks. So, is this market just trying to price in what they think is happening? Could be. We've been looking at all the commodities which have been breaking down. I mean, here's, here's your wheat, which since our video three weeks ago is down to the tune of 22%. Uh, oil down about 9% from, from when uh, I made the video about the everything bounce, which is still technically in play, technically. I mean, I position myself in, in uh, three, the three major, the four major stocks within uh, NASDAQ, as well as Dow Jones, S&P, and, uh, and NASDAQ itself. And, you know, they're all still up from that low, but giving up the gains, unfortunately. And with the Dixie performing like this, it might continue to be that way. The main thing that we've got to focus on is oil. For, uh, and oil has not broken down yet. It's, it has come down by 9%. That's good. But it's not changed its its structure on the chart here for, for the weekly. Unlike all the other commodities that we saw in that video over the weekend, which have all broken down and changed their behavior, they're breaking down on a weekly. That's good for inflation, but not as good as if it were, if it were to happen with oil. Oil is really important. I don't know if you know this, but uh, if you drink a pint of beer in the pub, apparently 85% of that price of that beer is transportation costs, fuel, oil. Then you've got tax, and then you've got the rest of it, which is what costs to make the beer. So you apply that to pretty much everything, whether it's a pint of milk, a sack of rice, you know, an iPhone, something from Amazon, whatever. It's all costing fuel to get to you or to get to the warehouse or to get to the manufacturers or wherever. It's all costing fuel. Oil is the main driver here outside of obviously all the stuff that went here that went on after the pandemic, you know. Fuel, fuel, it's all about fuel. And so it's nice to see all these commodities breaking down. Oil has to break down in order for inflation data to be front run, which is what we were hoping for. We, we did see some decent, you know, some decent moves and we may see that change of behavior. We are crossing down on the MACD here on, on, on the on the weekly. That's OK. But as you can see, I just pointed at the screen like you in the room here. But uh, the last three weeks so far in a row held on the 20 weekly, 20 weekly, 20 weekly. And even when it did break down here, 21 exponential on the weekly as well. So we, we what we really want to see is its closures on a weekly below 105 arguably 104 to be uh, to be more precise about a change of behavior and we're not getting that unfortunately we're not getting that right now but we can only dream we can always hope can't we so we'll just have a quick look on the monthly while we're here because i haven't checked the monthly yeah the monthly doesn't look particularly bearish at all uh, and uh, like i say neither does the weekly if anything you know if you wanted to try and trade this chart you know you might even be thinking of 
adding to a position around here with a tight stop loss because that would be a good risk to reward ratio for a move up unfortunately so we'll just transfer all of this over to uh, to bitcoin now yes i know it's not looking particularly good so let's go to a four hourly uh, so four hourly this is your inside range there's upper portions of the range and lower portions of the range but uh, for the moment the major price action is taking place between 18,700 and about 20,200 uh, breaking outside of that range could easily come up to retest these uh, zones close to 22,000 breaking down through here we could easily come down to 18,000 now i'm going to show you something that might scare you a little bit but it's worthy of seeing depending on which way you've positioned yourself um, we have ourselves an inverted price scale now, so an upside down chart. And what we see is, similar to the Dixie, a cup in handle forming, right? This would mean that, you know, obviously invalidation would be, you know, breaking down, uh, or, so, or should I say breaking out from here, which could easily move us up to uh, 22, maybe even 23,000. But if we get a rejection here, like we're seeing at the moment, we come back down to this zone here, 18,700, and maybe even a little lower, if you're looking for a contingency play, 18,000, that's your cup and handle area. And if you break out from there, you break down. So let's just switch this back. Now we can see the damage that could be caused on this devastating formation. And again, a couple of handles, they are what they are, but you can see how on the Dixie it's already playing out now. And we, we should we should take it seriously when we see it. I'm not massively into formations, but this is what we've got. We had it on the Dixie, now we're getting it on Bitcoin. And so we'll be looking for continuation down, new lows to be formed on Bitcoin. So that might be depressing, and again, it's not happening at the moment, although it could be it could be happening. Uh, uh, we should entertain very realistically about where is the low on this and uh, and how low could it possibly go? Well, you know, how long is a piece of string? How, how deep is the support? <laughs> you know, your guess is as good as mine. One thing I could say, though, is if we base this on the cycle performance, so we've got our cycle top here, cycle bottom uh, determined to be around september october november and um, this support down here i've put is twelve thousand because we've got resistances supports resistances 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 break out twelve thousand is a big deal for bitcoin and one that you know despite you know people think it might not come down there it can't be possible it could now there are areas as well like sixteen thousand fourteen thousand which do have uh, you know, I suppose areas of interest on the chart, but not as relevant as 12,000. 12,000 12, is super strong. It's super strong. It, it, 12,000 is what 29,000 should have been. You know, if it wasn't for the world falling apart the way it is, 12,000 is the, three, uh, the, the 28, 29, 30,000 area and could easily be the bottom. Now, if you're you know watching this bitcoin chart you know thinking about where should i buy in i want to buy in right now i want to buy in right now what i did in the last bear market after taking profits um i uh, i i wanted to get back in you know i'd made some serious gains i, I desperately wanted to get back in but it became pretty clear that the bear market was in full swing and uh, the more i looked at it the more that i thought well let's just wait for the cycle to end and uh, a new cycle to begin a new bull market to begin and that's generally going to be determined after around a, a year long consolidation or bear market so here's your peak here's your low and basically started to accumulate after a year has gone by and um, that's probably what we're sort of going to be expecting around here so if here's your peak and we're talking about a year from now it brings us towards the end of this apex which is around November, um, which means that we could easily find a bottom before November. This is why I always say September, October, November for what could be, you know, a capitulation event where you go, well, there's your low or there's your expected low. And then we see an accumulation take place. And so if that is the case, marking off 12,000 doesn't seem particularly unrealistic. And if you think about the the, uh, the full on pullback or the from the top to the bottom, that's 83%. I believe that was kind of the same as the last one, I think, wasn't it? Let's have a look. 83, 84%. So it's not completely unrealistic to expect 12,000 to be hit somewhere over the next couple of months. And if that's the case, I think it would be what is now being uh, spoken about as a generational buying opportunity, right? Something that, something that should hold everybody in good stead if you just thought i'll buy some bitcoin at twelve thousand. seems realistic you've got the the same top to bottom kind of floor area we've got a very strong level of support based on previous multi years worth of support stroke resistance on weeklies as well very strong and so there's a lot of things correlate and, and match uh, together along with what could be the time cycle as well september october november 
by November we should have had that low and we should already be accumulating at higher levels and getting ready to actually break out of what this apex looks like of this giant giant bear market basically so if you're looking to try and get clever and, and uh, you know trade crypto that's fine i do that uh, and i do bots as well and i'm expecting volatility and i'm hoping that these bots will remain in range which means i can leave them throughout the latter part of the bear market right into the bull market and, and keep them going accumulating the entire time but if we're talking about seriously committing some capital to bitcoin uh, at this very moment in time uh, it does look like I would I would I would say I favour downside more than upside uh, between now and the end of the year, and if I was to really sort of like reach for a, a very 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 interesting area to buy at, uh, it would be at that twelve thousand or thereabouts. So I'm not saying it's definitely going to happen. Uh, it may not. We've got to wait for CPI data, we've got to look at oil, we've got to look at all kinds of things that take place in the world's economy, uh, which is having the biggest reshuffle right now than, than, you know, that I've ever seen, you know. So we've got all these commodities literally peaking, blowing off their tops, breaking down. Uh, how's that going to filter in and how long will it take for that to filter into the general consumer spending, you know, inflation data, you know. And, uh, and then we've got all these uh, uh, major indexes effectively still consolidating on their own. Some people calling for huge economic disaster. Some people saying that this is now an area where we could dollar cost average into major indexes. And I still think that there's a good chance that the everything bounce continues. We just really need to see oil change its behavior, you know, as soon as possible. You know, the last two weeks, it has broken down below the uh, the 20 weekly, but it got sucked back up on Friday. Same as last week, broke down, sucked back up on Friday. So, you know, we want to see a change of behavior in oil. Uh, and, and that is going to be the main driver of inflation uh, showing a peak. You know, obviously the rate hikes are doing one thing, but this is a big deal. We want to see this come down. And I think it will come down, but whether it comes down in the next two weeks or the next week or so is a, it's a difficult one to call, really. Like I say, on a risk to reward basis, this is where you'd be thinking about going long. Uh, with a very tight stop loss because there is a major area of support right below us and we haven't changed our behavior uh, from what is a bullish chart to a bearish chart it's not happened yet either way let's keep our eyes on the prize uh, and uh, i would expect lower generally just even on a time basis for for bitcoin but it doesn't mean that i suppose dollar cost averaging is a bad idea but if you don't have disposable income if you're wanting to get in on a bull market you might as well just wait off to the fourth quarter to see whether whether where the land lies the ground lays just wait basically um like i did in the last bear market waited it all out bought into it with almost instant gratification and Bitcoin can turn around very fast. We've seen it, or maybe you haven't, but uh, a lot of us who've been around have seen it. Uh, and uh, and when it does turn around, it, 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 it moons. It does moon, believe it or not. It might not feel that way to the most part because a lot of interest came in around here with Elon Musk and Michael Saylor. And then it's been a very rocky testing time for anyone who's bought Bitcoin over the last 18 months. But for us, you know, most of us bought around here, you know, and this is the, this is the bull market that we were exposed to for a prolonged period of time. And then lo and behold, we made our money. Big time, big time money. You know, that's where the big money was made. But prior to that, it was testing. You know, it was testing, but it doesn't mean it can't move. From the lows to this parabolic high at the beginning of the bull market, more or less did a 300% move over the space of three months. These things can happen. So if we think about that, if we think about what could happen if we start to bottom around 12,000 between September, October, November, if we have a big move back up, similar to that, we'll be, we wouldn't be too hard to imagine us getting back up to this major area, which in my opinion is, is this is the 12,000 of the new bull market. So there's your 3,000 equivalent, this is your 12,000 equivalent, and we could probably range around here while accumulating uh, and, uh, and then later on, maybe 2024 or something, break out from there and that's where we all get seriously rewarded for being brave like Matt Damon has told us to be brave. But be brave at these levels down here. Not particularly, I mean, that is brave, I can tell you now. It's very brave. Uh, it's, uh, I mean, he is right. You'd have to be brave to do that. But uh, I, I would say be brave down here for what I think could be a generational buying opportunity, as they like to say these days. And I think it would be. I really think it would be. I think you'd be positioning yourself into Bitcoin at such a great level down there that it would be hard not to make money over the next three years and significant money at that. We're talking 10x, maybe 20x. And people say, oh, Bitcoin will never hit 100,000. But it could. 
and if it, if it if we bottomed around twelve thousand, a ten x from there is one hundred and twenty thousand, right? A ten x. What did Bitcoin do this time round? Twenty x. So what? What are we expecting? Another a ten x? And we have a diminishing diminishing returns each time. Let's just let's just be safe and say, all right, a ten x is 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 possible uh, from that level down there. Twelve twelve thousand. That's one hundred twenty thousand from that level down there. So I'll leave it to you to decide. Uh, but like I say, so it, yeah, I'm not suggesting you uh, you buy Bitcoin today or anything like that. But I seriously think you should stick around and and watch the situation unfold because on a cycle basis, it's performing exactly the same as the previous cycle. Uh, our peak to what could be considered the low, that's uh, was it, 83, 84, 82, 80, 83 percent move, and from here to our low down here. It's about an 83 as well. So we're talking the same amount of size from top to bottom. Uh, we're talking about a major area of support and uh, stroke resistance uh, being tagged to 12,000. And then we're thinking about the cycle unfolding over 2023, 20, uh, moving around uh, up to these lows, probably consolidate from there, breaking out from there into 2024, and then going on to make serious, serious gains into 2024, 2025. It's probably the way it's going to work. I'm telling you now, it's probably how it is going to be. Um, there's no reason to dispute it. It's probably, that is probably how it will be. And so I would suggest think about getting into some Bitcoin positions uh, the closer we get to that 12,000. Because whether you bought, you know, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, you know, in the end, in the end, it will it should perform just like it did in the last cycle uh, and this doesn't look any different now to the previous one or the one before that give or take more or less the same right thanks for watching hope you have a nice day and take it easy